Hello friends, this is Abhishek. Welcome back to the video tutorials. Today we're gonna test uh, the APIs. Okay, I hope you guys have heard lot of things about the APIs. It's an application programming interface. Okay, uh, nowadays it's a, a very you can say uh, lots of lots of program programmers are uh, want to know how we can create a API whether it's in PHP or uh, in ASP.NET or in MVC right so today we're gonna see how we can create APIs for the mobile application for any mobile application whether it's a phone gap it's Android it's a native Android it's a native iOS okay or any cross-platform application right uh, by using a PHP okay today we're gonna see and consume how we can consume that APIs inside a mobile application right so first of all I'll show you code for that so here is my code I have created a small uh, example for that so example is and I'm using a WAM server to testing the PHP API so my WAM is uh, started if you check it let's check in browser so here localhost yes it's working properly okay and I hosted inside a www it's a revenue folder and these are my APIs okay this is for registration this is for authentication okay we are going to see these two uh, APIs okay first of all I'll show you the connection what is the connection this is the database connection okay so here I have created a class called connection and a constructor and uh, written everything inside that like what is my uh, username password and my database okay and database is generated in my uh, PHP admin if you want to see this is my database okay these are the different kind of tables over there and now the important thing the registration what we have done in registration it's a very simple simple logic okay first of all I have allowed all the header types like anyone wants to access like uh, by using uh, the post method by using the get methods okay uh, any users I have allowed all the users right so they cannot uh, get any kind of error like uh, uh, cross error and all that CORS error right so first of all I have included the connection uh, to connect my database and here I have created a class registration which extends from connection okay and in the registration class created a constructor which is calling to the parent that means connections constructor to initialize the database okay whenever I create an instance of registration class and the constructor will get automatically called that means our database connection will get automatically right here is my method registered user which accepts the different parameters like password email ID mobile number first name last name and is for update is this user is coming from uh, wants to update his profile or it's a new user okay this will decide and according to this parameter we have fired a query SQL statement uh, if is update equals to false or zero we are going to uh, find that particular email ID inside our database and according to the result we are firing the insert or update statement okay and the second method is get user info okay this will retrieve the user information particular user information of based on user ID to the uh, requester right so this is the important okay we are sending the data in a JSON format okay so I have done I have converted the whole row inside an array stored inside an array and then we are passing that particular array back to the requester okay this is all just about our backend logic okay now what will uh, like uh, the first whenever user sends the request it will hit over here right it will get the parameter from the post that is user ID if the user ID is available then what we are doing we are getting that user ID creating an instance of a registration class and sending the user ID info that means get user ID info 
if freeze ready is available and if freeze ready is not available then we are checking one by one fields like uh, we want email ID, we want password, we want mobile number, okay, storing all that information in a particular variable and according to it's optional. That's why I have uh, uh, write written two different conditions for the first name and last name, okay, and again for the f uh, is for update to and based on this we are firing a query and giving appropriate message. This is important, okay. What we are doing, we are creating an array assigning it assign the status the message to the particular array and the array response JSON is sending back to the requester by converting into the JSON okay this is the JSON encoder default function of PHP it will automatically convert the whole array into the JSON string and given back to the requester now let's test whether this is working properly or not so for testing I have added apps called postman okay this is very helpful for the testing APIs right so just go to the add-ons Google add-ons sorry Chrome add-ons it will give you all this stuff okay here is my registration PHP what you have to do is just write localhost revenue and registration.php inside the body section select the form data and pass your data like user id email id password mobile number whatever you want okay so currently i am just passing the username user id one and i want to retrieve all the information of current user so i'll just click on send yes it will gives me the whole json information right so if you see here the status is 200 the message is user information fetched successfully and inside an array of user info we are getting all this stuff like user id first name last name email id password and all that stuff right and now we want to register ourselves with the same email id okay again so i don't need user id right so i'll just user cannot register now please try again sometime why cause email id is already registered with us that's why it's showing this kind of error okay it's not error it's a message that you cannot register right now right at once you can create your own php okay the focus should be uh, inside your php code right what kind of parameter you are going to accept okay whether it's from get request or whether it's from post request okay all the stuff you have to maintain over here and you have to manage the written message as well okay uh, we'll uh, take a look uh, in the detail in my next uh, coming videos okay so don't forget to watch uh, the series for the APIs and uh, one more thing don't forget to subscribe this channel for more video like this and uh, if you have any queries or any uh, suggestions you can send it to webboostings at gmail.com okay or uh, support at infologs infologs.com sorry dot net dot in right and uh, if you want to get all the videos in a single place you can visit my website too that is infologs.in this is a single place you do not need to find uh, from thousands of videos from the uh, YouTube so just come here you will find all the videos in a single place for the different kind of technology it's for iOS it's for Android PHP SP.NET jQuery polymer cross-platform mobile application Swift programming objective C programming everything is available over here okay so just you have to come over here and just learn so uh, this is Abhishek signing off till then keep learning bye bye and I just want to tell you about my uh, video sponsors, DevMountain.com. Uh, just because of them, I'm recording this video tutorial for you guys. Actually, they are running a coding bootcamp and they provided a different kind of courses like a web development, <coughs> web development, iOS development, and UX design for the full time and after hours. Okay, uh, the main important point they'll teach you everything that you need to take a job in this field okay so uh, i would like to request to just check out their website dermartin.com and uh, i have already put uh, put down the links 
inside the description box below and uh, one more thing if you do contact with them just tell them my reference okay uh, till then keep learning bye bye